What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming to you from the Pacific Northwest Reptile Show and we are here because we are looking for my first ever snake, specifically looking for a milk snake. And it was very, very loud while we were there, so I didn't record much in the way of talking. And really, it looks the same pretty much every year. I've done videos at the same expo. So I figured we'd just kind of take a quick look around and then go ahead and see the snake I got. So let's get on with it. There were definitely a lot of cool snakes and lizards that were there. Most notably, I really enjoyed a table that just had a bunch of Kenyan sand boas. And I mean, Kenyan sand boas are just great little snakes, but literally the whole table just looked like a table full of earthworms because they were so small. Um, there were also some cool chameleons that were there. They had them out and you guys know I love chameleons, so I can't resist showing those. But those were super cute as well. And as you guys know, I am hoping to get one of those in the future. So keep your fingers crossed. I mean, that probably won't be anytime soon, but chameleons are just super cute. And then there was also this really, really cute red-footed tortoise that we came across. And then of course, you know, you've got things like the ball pythons and the crested geckos, which are always super fun to look at. They even had some chihuahuas and lichianus, which was really, really cool. Like I think this was a full grown adult sized lychee. It was absolutely massive. So that was crazy. And then we went over to look at the dart frogs. We've seen some stuff from this vendor before, but because they're so colorful, I mean, I can't resist just going over to have a look. And also there were some Pac-Man frogs. Those were pretty neat. They did have a handful of tarantulas and scorpions as well. So I really enjoyed looking at those. And then we actually spotted some green tree pythons, which were really, really beautiful. And it was nice to have some variety, but for the most part, really, it looked a lot like previous expos. Of course, because, you know, it's kind of the same vendor and they're all from, you know, the Pacific Northwest. But what was nice is that this year they had a much larger space to use for the expo. So the experience was much more enjoyable for me this year than it has been in years past. But really my main purpose for going was just to find the snake that I wanted and go home. I didn't plan to spend a really long time, which is why I don't have a ton of footage, but I really did enjoy it. So let's go ahead and see what I ended up with. So obviously I'm a noob when it comes to handling snakes, but what I ended up choosing was this sweet little Nelson's milk snake. I think she was only a couple months old, and yes, it is a girl. And before I had come to the expo, I already had the idea that I would get a milk snake just because I like their temperament, I like that they're easier to feed, and it just seemed like a good first snake, so this is the one I ended up taking home with me. And so we ended up taking her home. I did not film at all on the card ride back because it was already dark and I didn't want to stress her out more. So I just released her into her little habitat, which I will likely do a separate video on. It is a quarantine, which is why there's paper towel. She immediately started exploring after the first 20 minutes of being let out into the tank, which is super duper fun to watch. And she definitely did prove to be an escape artist like I heard that they might be. She immediately went up to the top of the enclosure, started nosing around trying to find a way to escape. She has already taken her first meal. I will include that in the next video that I do about this snake. Really, I just wanted to quickly introduce you guys to her so that you could see her because I am so excited about the snake. I've been waiting to show you guys because I haven't even posted about it on my Instagram yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and get ready for the next snake video, which will be coming out next week. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.